So today we are going to do some more counting. So the first thing I'd like you to do, if you could count, put out um, our bead bars one to 10 and count all of them. So the children will do that. There's one. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Today, we are going to also use the symbols that stand for these quantity. We're going to show you the numbers that we use, the numerals that we use. This is one, one. Two, one, two. Three, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Five, who can count that five? Six, seven, and someone counts it. Eight, nine, and ten. Who can point to seven? Who can point to five? Continue another uh, three period lesson. Now, if the children are struggling or you feel like they couldn't handle the introduction of all of the numbers at once, you can again limit it to just the first three or four and then build up till they can identify these symbols all the way to 10. Uh, and so again, this can be more games of this sort where they are uh, labeling quantities with the corresponding symbol. Again, getting just more and more comfortable with understanding the quantity and the symbol that stands for that quantity.